Finally arrived in Kawabuchi Police Station, 9.41. It's time to assemble the bike. Hey guys, I'm ready. My bike is assembled. I've never seen Kawabuchi Bus Station this empty. Right now, I would have to look for the hostel that I would be going. There are actually two K's, as in letter K, K's hostel. So one is a uh, Fuji View, that's where I'm going to, to be staying for the night. And the other one is uh, Mount Fuji. Well, ready to roll but first we need to cross the street and press this button and then this will turn green in a while see japan so, let's go my butt really hurts because i'm wearing very thin shorts and i don't have paddings so we have to cross uh four stoplights before we turn left so I just passed by one stoplight in the back. It's very, very quiet uh, in this part of uh, the town, even though it's like a holiday. Okay. Third, uh, second stoplight. And then the third stoplight. So we are gonna turn left on the fourth stoplight but I might have to check again my maps I don't have GPS inputted in my Wahoo so and my shorts doesn't have any pocket in it yeah, so I think this is the hotel uh, it says case Fuji view the reception is only until 8 p.m. They are leaving the keys and the code to me. So let me do that first. Reception is closed, but they left a note. So I am room 101 and I'm bed number 4. And I have to check in by from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. But I'd be leaving around uh, 5 a.m. So I don't know how that's going to happen. Early today, so I have all my things packed, and uh, I'm probably the first person to wake up. So there's, as you can see, there's already sun, and it's gonna be a clear weather today. And I hope it's not too hot and not too cold in the morning. And, uh, this is the place, so it has a very huge. Uh, you have guest rooms, dining tables hammock, kitchen, probably in 10 to 15 minutes, uh, we'll have to leave now. Bye! I have here a light, so... Uh, it's a USB rechargeable. It's very useful for tunnels. I actually saved a route for this one. So let me find it. Yeah. I think we will start with this one. Let me select. But I might have to go back to uh, Kawaguchi Go Station that I can start this journey. So I'm not 
wearing my mask now because uh, I'm all alone at the moment but maybe later when there will be more people uh, I would wear my mask I, ha I hope I captured Mom Fuji at the back because I'm so bad at framing GoPro so uh, let's go my breakfast in Fahima. Let's see what we can find on food. So now I have to wear my mask because I am inside an establishment and of course you need to take uh, have, the, have your hands disinfected by alcohol. Looking for I'm looking for bento boxes I hope they have stocks at the moment I took the Negi from my dog this is, this is like the uh, Yoshinoya stuff gyudon and egg and green onions So let's check what I have. This is the Nehitama Udon. So it's egg, green onions, and beef yakini. What an energy bar, but this is reserved for later. Aizaimasu, it's about uh, 6 a.m. already today and the station is very quiet at the moment and as you can see Mount Fuji is very uh, nice at the background so now I will start cycling I came all the way from uh, the hostel and I took a quick lunch at the nearby family mart I think I'm ready, I hope. Please pray for me, pray for my safety. It's going to be around 100 kilometers today and it's gonna cover the five lakes of uh, surrounding Mount Fuji. And yeah, I hope to finish it uh, maybe lunch. And uh, I think the first train just started because of the bell. I should probably get going and uh, yeah, ride some kilometers before it begins to be uh, hot already. It's around 30 to 32 degrees today. And I think today it's at the moment it's around 28 to 20, uh, no, probably 26 to 28. So yeah, let, me, let us get started. The first lake is uh, Lake Kawaguchi. It's very near the station, probably around uh, 20 kilometers. I don't know. Probably around 3 to 5 kilometers. It's very near, but there's a much better view in the later part. Let's get going. Yeah, I see. Perfect. I got perpendicular. Side of the 
this is the first lake, uh, Lake Kawaguchi, if I understood it correctly. So it's one of the most famous uh, lake because it's very near the station. So from this lake actually, there are many uh, tourist spots that you can go around. Uh, yeah, it's nice to take a look at it. And we have very good view Mount Fuji. So finally, the sun is up. Uh, yeah, I hope it won't get too warm later. But uh, at the moment, this is a very nice, cool weather. Not so hot, not so cold, windy. It's chill. Okay, so we're done with uh, the first lake, which is Fujikawaguchiko. So we will go to the next one, the next lake. See you. shader parts of the area because you're coming inside some mini forest okay so we have reached the intersection uh, of going to Lake Saiko so if you see that one it says uh, Lake Saiko 2 kilometers turn right and there's a cycling cycle so that one we're gonna take that uh, hairpin road and then go over the hill okay and the sky is already so blue I hope it won't be too hot and I hope I conquer and get on top of the hill before it gets too hot okay bye there's, there's the hill the hill probably around six to eight percent so let me prepare okay so I have I have conquered the first hairpin and I'm already running out of breath and my heart rate ready and orange Whew. another hairpin let's go okay second hairpin road conquered so tiring but I am starting to wonder if I should continue vlogging or not cycling while talking is so difficult see and there would be car too it says Lake Saiko in 4 kilometers So since we have conquered uh, the first hill, it's gonna be downhill all the way. Okay, so I probably misread the direction. So I think the four kilometers means that it's the end of Lake Cycle. Because apparently, this is already Lake Cycle. Uh, from here, there's not much, there's no view of Mount Fuji. And we only have Fishermen, hobbyists, you know, with their umbrellas and small boats and fishing rods and camper vans. And so this is them, Lake Cycle. Okay. Uh, I forgot the name of the next lake, but I'll keep you posted. I'm trying to look uh, for a toilet. Probably there's some convenient uh, in the next few kilometers that I can be. It's because uh, I took coffee and coffee is diuretic to me. It makes me pee regularly.
lines that's forming the back and then the sun is quite high already and it's still around um, quarter to seven okay since, so since we are looking for Mount Fuji view in Lake Saiko here it is so I was mistaken there's also a view of Mount Fuji in Lake Saiko So I just arrived the Sai Kok Iyashino Furusato or I don't know what the name but they are the Japanese houses Unfortunately it's closed I don't know if it's because of coronavirus or I'm just too early at the moment but let me explore the area It would have been very nice if I could go from that side because there's really a, a Mount Fuji in the background but it's currently closed While Zaymas please open already but so they will open at around 9.30 a.m. I'm too early to uh, enter that place so maybe later when I come back from uh, after finishing Lake Motosu then I can probably come in and I hope I still have daylight and some time and some energy okay back to the road I think that was insane I've reached around 50 kph on flats it's nice so it says here Lake Shojiko turn uh, right so at that corner will be I will be turning right okay our third lake for today is Lake Shojiko uh, it is the smallest lake of the five lakes and basically there's not much it's very placid then you can just see some fishermen again some fishes. okay and then we'll go to the next the fourth lake which is lake motosko and i don't know how far it is let's go Check out the view. Very quiet. The road is closed, uh, I don't know, I can't read kanji, so I will find a way to uh, go around, but it's definitely not on my route anymore, 
So, uh, we'll see. We are here in Lake Motosko, the fourth lake. Uh, there's something special about this lake, but I will show you later and I'll explain why. So earlier I said that there's something special. I have a trivia for uh, Lake Motosko, so I'll show you. So this view, this is this look familiar, of course, not to some, but was it? Yeah. So this is where the uh, 1,000 yen bill came from it's from this view amazing and uh, the Sun is really so up high now and I think it's just about 8 p.m. Oh, 8 p.m. 8 a.m. so I should better get going and get the last lake because the last lake is down back in Kawaguchiko so I will have to uh, move back again to the four lakes before reaching uh, the last lake and yeah I'll have lunch somewhere okay bye it's actually amazing uh, the old lady with a red cap is the wife it's the wife and the guy on the green it's katane <laughs> let's take salt first because the sun is really high and hot now Basically, it's empty now, and good thing I good thing I bought two water bottles. So I still have a, this one. Normally during uh, autumn or winter, I just bring one water bottle, and I. I cannot even consume half of it, but during summer, yeah, more than two water bottles. So from here, it's uh, downhill all the way. And then we, I will have to check uh, Saiko, the, the traditional village, and check if it's open already. That we can... Uh, RPO! Oh, no, it's not RP. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is weird. I like uh, what you call this algae and grass on top of the roof. Here in the, uh, the village, so it kind of the feel is like uh, Last Samurai when Tom Cruise was in the, in the village. That I, I, that's how I. Uh, picture out being here okay guys uh, that wasn't fun so I I was in Kawabuchiko station uh, before coming here in Lake Yamanako, and I was 
charging the GoPro and my headlights because they went on uh, empty battery and coming through here was so difficult it was, uh, it was a lot of traffic a lot of cars and apart from the traffic it's uh, going uphill at around three to five percent so it was so difficult and uh, I couldn't bear the heat that I had to stay in Lawson for several minutes to, just to cool down and I actually bought them up one Pokari 500 ml water so that's probably how uh, the heat was back uh, at least here in the lake it's kind of uh, cool because of the breeze and the wind uh, so that's one of the things that was annoying coming here and I couldn't see any view of Probably if we go into that part of the area later. But I just arrived and uh, it's quite difficult. So I'll let you know again later. So this is probably one of them. Uh, among the five lakes, this is the most boring, I guess. Because there's already a lot of people, you know, having the uh, boats, bikes, and pump boats, speed boats, everything. So it's not as serene as it is. And the road is wood, so uh, the rolling resistance is very high. So it makes your speed quite uh, low. I just probably finish the loop and then go back home. I don't know what that bell is for, but yeah, I rang the bell. Finally done with the loop, Lake uh, Yamanako. I'm using my iPhone now because my GoPro is really on empty battery. And uh, I think I have uh, finished about 97 kilometers, but I have to go back to the station. So it's probably around 10 to 15 kilometers. Uh, yeah, we'll see. And probably take my lunch and I have to go back to the hostel because I haven't checked in yet. And they need to get my papers uh, so that I would be officially checked in. And they would have also to need to check my temperature. Uh, yeah, so, alright, see you. So I'm done uh, with my cycling adventure. So I went back to the hostel, uh, cleaned myself, took a bath, and it's good. Yeah, I'm already here in Otsuki Station. This, I'm right, I will be riding the train going to Tachikawa, and from there I'll be uh, taking the train to my local station. Your attention, please. The local it's all track bound for Kofu will soon arrive on track 10 line check. Mm. 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 So, it was a success. Mm.